Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss some possible ways of dealing with the outliers. So, what is an outlier? In statistics, an outlier is an observation point that is distant from the other observations. An outlier can easily be detected using the box plot where any points above or below the whiskers is represents an outlier. It can also be spotted using a histogram where we have a bulk of observation on one side and an observation way off the bulk of the observations definitely represents an outlier. It can also be spotted using a scatter plot which helps us to understand the degree, the, the degree of association between two, uh, two numerical variables and any observation way of the association, the normal association, is an outlier. Now let us discuss some of the possible causes of outlier. An outlier can cause due to incorrect data entry. It can be a cause of intentional or motivated misreporting. An outlier can be a cause of sampling error and also an outlier can really be a true value although it is exceptional. Now let us consider the first case. An outlier can really be a cause of incorrect data entry. So suppose that uh, data 12.5 can be miswritten as 125 that makes a huge difference in the data set and making this an outlier. Or so someone while entering 1000 actually missed the one and wrote uh, 30 and, and that makes a huge difference in the data set and makes the value ridiculously low bringing an outlier in the data set. An outlier can be a cause of the intentional or motivated misreporting. Now I've been discussing about outliers some day before in my class and we came up with some very good examples from the students and one of them reported that uh, that in, in India that it's uh, there, there, uh, there is a tendency of some guys to exaggerate their salary while filling up some matrimonial website and so amongst all who are exaggerating the salary there is some who exaggerated the salary beyond their limits and thus bringing a value in the data set which is way off from what the others have reported thus bringing in an outlier in the data set now this is definitely an intentional or motivated misreporting and this type of case can occur when uh, when, when the respondent are asked uh, face some very sensitive questions and they don't know what to answer and therefore they try to avoid the question by reporting some very high or very low values. An outlier can be a cause of sampling error. Let me give an example. Suppose that I want to measure the average height of all the Bengalis. Now I have spotted a geographical region which is overpopulated by the Bengalis. So I've sent the enumerators to collect some of the uh, some of the Bengalis randomly and measure their height so that I can have a very good estimate about the height of the Bengalis. So these are the Bengalis having some short heights and <clears throat> Now later it was found out that this people, this this area, although it was overpopulated by the Bengalis, there is some living in this, some Punjabis living in this area and they have got some impressively uh, good heights. And so due to random sampling, it may happen that uh, among the Bengalis, there's some Punjabis may snake in the sample and our objective was not to measure the height of the Punjabis but the Bengalis and thus resulting in sampling error and this happened because we did not define the boundary of the population very rigidly and therefore some of the therefore some of the units which are not in our target population tend to sneak in our sampling causing some irregular results now this is a very interesting case that an outlier can actually be a true value although it is exceptional. Another very interesting example came up in my class that uh, some of these students were surveyed that how many, st how many cigarettes per day do they smoke and although it was found that almost most of them while most of them are smoking like two, uh, 
two to three cigarettes per day. There are actually some who are smoking like 20 or 25 cigarettes per day. Now, this is not a misreported or intentionally uh, misreported observations. This is actually true that there is someone who is actually doing that and therefore bringing in a number in the data set which is way far off from what the others have reported thus bringing in an outlier in the data set outlier calls for being curious now let me give you an example that suppose that i am interested to record the average salary of the blog writers and i have found that most of the blog writers have salaries within this range and there are some who are lying way off from what normal has, uh, what, what the most of the people have earned, and they have reported their salary right over here. And this calls for being a little curious that are they actually earning the salary? Is it a misreport or a data entry mistake? And if it is a true value, then it. Uh, then it definitely asks us to be more curious about it so that we can understand that what is, understand that what is the way they are doing it. So this definitely brings us the further research questions that how we can earn more by writing a blog. So in this video we have learned what an outlier is and how it can be detected. We have also studied that some of the possible causes of outliers and also at the end we have talked about that it is necessary that we become a little curious when we come across these exceptional values. In the coming video I am going to discuss about some possible ways of dealing with outliers. So keep watching, do subscribe, have a nice day, thank you.